the game. It's a red stick. lobby haul all this stuff right here um it's kind of a mess right now um but just to kind of let you guys know what i kind of got was one i'm trying to get into jewelry i'm trying to get into candle making um as well as maybe resin um art um but with resin you guys you have to be very careful like epoxy and resin very it's kind of a toxic chemical so if you're using it you're going to want to wear like really good gloves as well as like a face mask and if you want to put the whole you know ppe on which is just like a whole little outfit on to make sure you don't expose none of your body to the chemicals so what i got is a heat gun um this is going to be for my candle making. I'm going to unbox this for you guys. Pretty, pretty big. Pretty big heat gun, guys. So it's big, like, boom. Right? You got a T.O. hater? <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Um, so I'm gonna put that in there. It's like a little weapon. Right? Um, and then I have this, um, it's like a resin starter kit. So, it's a resin starting kit. So this is kind of what it looks like. What's included is some glitter, a couple of the floral items, some string, um, a little mold right here. You have some glitter packets, a molding, the cord for the UV light, a little bit of epoxies in there. I bought some extra stuff because I wanted to really like know like you know what the things would come out to. So this is a really cute kit. Uh, glitter, some little foils, florals, like ew. and I don't see why not, but like you could use this for your nails as well. I honestly think, yeah, like you can use this for your nails, all kind of stuff. So impression art markers. This is because I bought, so these are like multicolored, like different colors. <clears throat> because I bought this kit, so because this stuff was on sale, I actually bought the whole series just about to the, it's called impress art. Like you can make keychains, necklaces, um, bracelets, rings, all kind of stuff, guys. Um, keychains. So there's literally letters on here. On the back, it kind of shows you how they're going to look when you pound them in. So you're gonna be pounding the metal into like, you know, the item that you're going to be making, which I'm really, really excited to use. And then when you pound it, you're going to coat it with whatever color that you want the words to have. Which I'm like super, super geek to use this, guys. Like I have never made jewelry. Literally, maybe in high school we made a, like a little item. But pound in the stones. A couple, some rhinestones in there. And you have like different sizes. Um, and then on the back, which I thought was cute, was they have the birdstone gems on here. It's called make something like special made for somebody. And I just think it's really, really cute to kind of have that on there. I'm really excited to make something really nice with these. Um, and I can even use, you know, all chakras and stuff. So there's like a black here as if you would, you know, do your nails. You have different um, levels of buffing and filing. So this is just to make things smooth and just nice, like a nice finished look. So I got this, I thought it's very important if you're gonna make jewelry. This, which is for uh, making bracelets, and these are like the half curved bracelets, so you just, they don't close all the way, but this is a bending tool to kind of help you bend the jewelry. 
Um, not only did I get the bracelets, but I also got the rings, guys. So yeah, I got this right here. And this is for your ring. So this is going to create rings right here. So these are just uh, extra like smoothing tools um, for those bracelets and like bending. Like a soft gripper right here so that you don't have to touch it. And you could just bend it without like messing it up with your fingers and stuff like that. I have a hole puncher just in case you find something where you have to you know punch yourself you're gonna need a hole puncher to punch the hole to put like a bracelet like a thread um or a wire through it of course i bought um the impress numbers because looking special you can make things a little special when you have numbers you can put birth dates you know when you guys met type of dates and what else do we have like anniversaries um just stuff like that so you can numbers come a long way so really cute little number. So there's a heart right there, guy. Floral, a lot of jewelry stuff to make. Um, and then I also got, because I'm going to try to make some resin hair stuff, I got some of these. Clips for your hair. And then I also got a lot of, um, or not a lot, but a couple of molds as well for the resin so i got some cute little i think people can make um earrings with these and this as well um and then i got some so i bought some wire too guys because i actually love quartz stones so i'm going to be making quartz stone necklaces so i got some different size wires to kind of create some different items so and I even got a multi-colored one. So really excited. This is a 22 gauge. The other ones are 20 gauges. So this will be cute to kind of accent um, two different tones. And then I have some Cricut items actually. So I bought this because I knew it probably wouldn't come with it with my Cricut. So I got this for like stickers and um, labels and just cutting things off. So you're going to need at least a little tool like this a little kit um and then i got a bunch of vinyl items as well so i got this one's actually a test sampler so it has a couple different colors um, i only got one because obviously i'm just practicing this out and then i have some vinyl and i have some iron-on items as well so these were on sale so that's why i kind of got a lot of them so that'll be very cute um, and they are removable, removable vinyl. And then I did get a small iron-on, um, even though that Cricut I got is really big, but I mean, it was a really big Cricut price for that iron mat, and I was kind of being cheap after I spent all this, don't ask me why, but I still got an iron mat, um, but I think it'll work, so, boom. Um, and then, I got some more tools to make jewelry with, a little kit, cause mind you, this stuff was on sale. All right, y'all, so I'm back. My battery actually died. So I've already got my Dollar Tree stuff on the table right here. <laughs> there was a couple things from Hobby Lobby that I did not show you guys, which was <clears throat> my candle, um, my candle making item. So this is the candle uh, natural soy wax candle kit. So this is the container that you're going to warm the candle um, stuff in. So in here you have a jar, a little candle jar. Um, and then you have like a bigger one. And then you also have some little um, tiki. Y'all, I swear I don't know what these are called, but little like the little tiny candles that you put, you know, next to the bathtub or something like that. Y'all, I got this place tore up. Like, there's tape on the floor. If y'all see any mess in the kitchen, when my camera died, I cooked dinner. So, that's what you're probably seeing in the back if you see anything. Um, and then we have some soy candle wax, which I'm, like, really, really excited, you guys. So, it's, like, flaky items in here. 
Um, and then, oh yeah, and inside of here, there's some candle wicks as well, guys. Candle wicks. Alright, and then some extra candle wicks. I don't know if they're extra, but I think probably not. Um, some a color chips are in here. And fragrance for the candles is in here as well. So I am going to try to put all this back in there. And then in this one, let's see. And this one you have um, the natural palm wax aromatherapy candle making kit. So in this one, the obviously the the wax is different. Uh, what do they call it? Yeah. So this one. Oh, this one smells. Uh, this one smells like crayons. So I'm guessing this is what they make crayons out of. <laughs> so they have the thermometer in here. And then just another kit, another colored dye, which is blue, some fragrance, and then we have the wicks for the candles. And then we have some candle molds as well. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my Dollar Tree haul real fast. Uh, so I actually found a lot of things in there too. I found a little craft container. I mean, you really can't beat it for a dollar. So it has just a bunch of Containers, so I can put beads, I can put jewelry stuff in here, um, and stuff like that. I can put resin art in here as well. Um, pretty excited about that. And I bought a bunch of containers too. And so I'm going to be using this stuff for like supplies and just to organize things so everything's not like everywhere. And then just to backtrack a little bit, I actually bought some epoxy. No, I bought epoxy. I bought epoxy. Mitts, some silicone mitts that I'm pretty sure I could use um, to grab stuff, especially my candle making. Um, this could definitely come in handy for that and any other crafts that is gonna require heat. So really, for a dollar, I mean, you cannot beat that. Safety covering. I bought um, these as well. This was a three pack of a funnels so i bought a three pack of funnels so there's three different sizes and i'm pretty sure like i can use this guys seriously um very crafty for a three pack you can't beat it for a dollar um and i just bought some plastic items so some more little bowls um to store things or i could put something in here um i actually want to test trial like um body products like lotions and stuff so this is kind of a good starter um to put some stuff in here make a little batch um and then i just have more cups and plastic and i figured like these might come in handy especially if i'm using like glitter and stuff and i can kind of sprinkle things in there um or dip you know stuff in there i kind of figured um i have a blue eraser that i got from the dollar store um some cute yarn the reason I got the yarn is because I kind of want to practice packaging and making things look really cute. So I kind of got this. Um, and I also got um, some, so I bought some twine. That's twine. <laughs> oh my gosh, I bought some twine. Um, bought some twine. I bought some like paint little um, paint brushes. Um, and then I bought some clamps because I'm pretty sure I could use these clamps to kind of hold something together with like glue and stuff. So I got that. Um, just another another canister to put like um, like jewelry or you know little items, little decoration items or something like that. Put the resin um, the resin art as well in there. And then, oh, I got these little forks and stuff, guys. So, like, if I want to dip something in glitter or something, I can just use a little fork, dip it in there, shake it off so I don't have to get glitter on me. So, I got a bunch of these little trays. Um, I feel like I can use it, you know, to do my craft stuff on. Um, it's like a little lunch tray. All of these are, like, this is a, like a little serving tray. I thought it was really cute. Um, and then I got like a little baking tray too. 
And I actually got some practice bags so I can iron on with them because I did buy the iron on um, crab guys. So I bought two little bags at Hobby Lobby that I'm going to um, test out the iron um, with um, tissue paper guys because I am going to, I wanted to practice like making things out of them. I've seen YouTube tutorials where they like decorate their tissue paper like customly so I kind of wanted to give that a try. Um, but I bought a bunch. There's different colored ones, and then I got a white one, and then I got like a sparkle glittered one. And I'm like, for a dollar, y'all, like again, you cannot beat it. There's 35 sheets in each bundle, so I thought that'd be really cute. Um, a safety lighter, guys. And a table, a shower liner, so that I can like put it down so I don't get things dirty as well. Um, and then I actually got some photo paper. Only because I really wanted to try this out on the printer and kind of see how, what kind of quality it's going to print out. 40 zipper seal bags. 40 zipper seal bags. So, you cannot beat this. I don't know how long they're going to have these for. If it's an everyday type of thing that they have, like every, you know, all year round. But these could really, really come in handy, especially if you're starting a business. Like 40 Ziploc bags for a buck. Cannot beat it. Um, I got some knee highs. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, nope, not for me. Um, <laughs> I'm not wearing these. This is to strain things out. I actually wanted to start making um, body oils as well. And for like the herbs and stuff. Um, you know, if I make something out of it and I don't want... And I don't want the herbs in there, I might want to clear a little items. I figured this could come in handy. Um, but I'm pretty sure I could use this for something else. Um, I just can't think of it off the top of my head, but you can't be like a, you know, any hole straight. A wood clothing pin. Cause I feel like I could like, again, like attach a lot of things so I can like glue things and kind of, you know, there's 36 in there so I can like make a lot of items and kind of, you know, have everything ready at the same time. So I thought this could come in handy. I got some paint tape just in case I decide I want to paint something or like a label or something or you know just you know making things so this could really come in handy um and then honestly my favorite thing that I got was oh, I know I bought a lot of stuff guys but I don't know I really like stamps and I feel like I could make like thank you cards with the stamp block like have a little decor right here um, and I'm really like, you know, I really love dream catchers and I'm like, ooh, this would be so cute to kind of just stamp. Just stamp on something. So I thought that was really cute. I don't know if y'all could see it. It was literally on clearance. Like you cannot beat that. Literally cannot beat it. All right. And some tape. And I got some tape as well. So. Oh, and I got some thread, guys. This was actually from, um, this was from Hobby Lobby. This is, like, cord for, like, the jewelry. I got, like, a ring size. So, I feel like this will come in handy when I'm making, like, rings and stuff. Um, yeah. And then I got a calendar. Oh, I was gonna say my favorite thing I got, because I really think it's really important, is, like, some poster boards, because I'm, I really want to make my vision boards. So, I got some small ones, because I don't really know what size, how I want them. But I got a little small one, and I got these big ones as well, just to kind of show you guys again. So, they're, like, really big, and they were two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, you cannot beat that, honestly. So, I got that, and... Last but not least, I got some drop cloths, just some extra cloths that I could literally pop down on the floor, just so things don't get messy, guys. Like, last thing you want to do is be crafting all day and then have a big mess to clean up. So, the easier, the better, right? Um, I got this little embossing tool for the little dots, and I thought that'd be really cute. It's double-sided. Um, so I'm like, hey, I'll try it. And then I just got like glue, guys. Just some tacky glue. Tacky glue. I think this is a name brand. I have no idea. 
but this was only a dollar right um that was a dollar and i know these are definitely name brands but i got some mod mod podge mod podge <laughs> mod podge hold up so just some glue So this was like my first haul. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys too, if you're just starting up, you don't know how fast things could take off. Keep all your receipts in case you do have to end up filing at the end of the year for taxes, guys. Like that's going to save you so much money if you keep all your receipts so you can, you know, hand it to the tax person and deduct them. You don't want to be paying so much in taxes. You want them to pay you a little bit, right? <laughs> no, but you don't want to be paying so much money in taxes back, guys. Um, so definitely keep all your receipts guys you know keep that mindset like have the mindset that your business is gonna like grow like have the mindset that whatever you're doing that you love to do create crafting all that stuff that it's just gonna blow up and you're gonna need to keep those receipts because you're running your own stuff pretty much it for my haul guys thank you so much for watching my video I'm excited to bring you guys on the journey with me so please like comment subscribe because literally this is the starting point of my business i will see you in the next video Mwah. love you guys bye